Greetings. I am Dr. Kimberly Parker, Assistant Professor and Graduate Coordinator here at the Department of Health Studies for Texas Women's University. And today I will be speaking to you on selecting a research topic. First, uh, the research process is a systematic overview or a systematic discovery of something new. And as a requirement of all PhD students in our dissertation program, you will have to conduct a formalized research um, or complete a research project. For you, your research topic is going to start off by being a broad field of study. So at this point in your tenure at TWU, you do not need to worry about focusing or narrowing your focus to a particular um, topic yet. But you will need to find something that is an interest of you, um, an interest to you, and something that you will want to study or learn more about during your years as a PhD student. Of course, it should be something you are committed to as you matriculate through the program, because technically you will be married to this for the rest of your life. It should be your catalyst for learning new information and your ideas about the topic may change, but you should keep the same general focus. In other words, if your health interest is childhood obesity, the aspects of your health topic may change. For instance, it may go from childhood obesity to childhood diabetes, or it may go from childhood obesity to another target population. But it is highly recommended that you put thought into your research topic and hopefully you will not change the topic as you move through the program. Your research topic should be based on your health interests and please understand that sometimes the political is personal. You may have a health interest in which you are personally invested in or personally attached to whether or not it's some form of cancer because someone very close to you may have suffered or whether or not as an African-American or Hispanic student or as a woman, you may pick a health issue that hits close to home because you can identify with that target population. It's okay if your health research agenda or your research idea is personal, but it can't be too personal in that you are not able to follow the scientific method for rigorous research or rig rigorous research methodology you need to remain objective. In other words, if it is a personal interest of yours, note that to yourself up front. But you cannot be vested into your research topic to the point where you are not able to remain objective. You should also be able to determine the need of your topic while removing the personal aspect from it. Also, your research topic and interest should be based on your life after the degree. What do you plan on doing once you've earned your PhD from Texas Women's University? Do you want to use this degree to get the job that you want? Or do you want to use this degree to advance in the job that you have? And if, if it is for the job that you want, for instance, if you would like to become a college professor, your research topic should be something that is going to allow you to expand and to do additional research, to have additional publications, and to seek additional grant funding once you get that job. If it's for advancement in the job that you have, your research interest or your health interest might be based on the area of the field that you are currently working in now. For example, before I moved to Texas and started teaching, the job that I had was to increase awareness of public health and health studies in the medical profession for K through 12 students. Therefore, I worked with teachers in curriculum development. The job that I wanted was to be an assistant professor and to do research in HIV and AIDS. Therefore, my research topic was on HIV and AIDS because of, it was based on the job that I wanted and the next steps in my career. When you select your topic, your topic should be based on inquiry. Again, I understand that some of you may select a topic that is personal, but it should be based on inquiry and the scientific method. What are you finding out in an objective manner and what are you adding to the field of study? You select, should select a topic that is of interest to you because again, remember, you will be married to this research process and to your dissertation 
for the rest of your life. Make sure the topic has a substantial amount of research and publication, whether or not it's through peer-reviewed journals, articles, or manuscripts. Those will weigh the most when it's time for you to start doing your research or uh, looking into your research interest. You should also keep in mind what the general population thinks about your idea or your topic. And you can also take in an aspect of pop popular culture. Your health interest may take on a different perspective over time, so you need to make sure your knowledge about your health interest is current. Again, to use myself as an example, I conduct research on HIV and AIDS in African American women. And when I was doing my dissertation research, an episode of Law and Order SVU came on that discussed undis men who do not disclose their HIV status yet have sex outside of their marriage. This made my topic even more important because A, the general population had opinions about it and it was something that was current or present in popular culture and actually still is. But I also understand that the topic and the focus and the interest in HIV and AIDS, especially as it relates to the target population and health risk factors are changing. So I need to also be able to change in that manner. And you may need to be able to change in that manner as well. Your health interest or your research topic may be one way in 20, may be viewed in one way in 2012, but may be totally different by the time you start your research or you start your collecting data for your dissertation. When selecting your topic, keep in mind that your goal is to identify the gaps in current research and it is best for you to consult with your advisors. Your advisors need to become your best friend through this process. Other committee members, professors, and other professionals that work in the field of your health interest or research topic. Once you select a topic, it is now time to read any and everything you can possibly get your hands on about the topic. This would include fiction, nonfiction, newspapers, research articles, journals, newsletters, briefs. The CDC needs to be your best friend so that you can stay current on the issues that are um, affecting your health interests or your health topic because your goal is to be the expert. Once you conduct a, uh, your dissertation research and once you graduate, you will be viewed upon as the expert in the field. And the best way to become an expert is to be very knowledgeable and to remain current as it relates to your health interests. All of your projects and assignments, if possible and if applicable, should be based on your research topic. This helps because it allows you to make the mistakes in the program prior to getting to the end and starting your dissertation research. It also helps because you will begin to develop a body of knowledge and you will begin to develop your own database based on what your health topic is. So for instance, if you are taking the program planning class and your health topic is breast cancer, you should be develop developing a program based on breast cancer. As much as possible, you should live and breathe breast cancer. Again, it's okay to switch your, your focus within your topic, but all projects and assignments should be based on the research of your topic so you will know what to do and what not to do the closer you get to the end. This will also help you to narrow your focus and it will help you to start looking at the different target populations that you may um, target or that you may work towards finding out more information about as it relates to your research topic and it allows you to identify specific specific factors and variables pertaining to your health interests again these may change but it allows you to start to narrow the focus throughout the process or throughout our program you will also need to create boundaries and start to adhere to them once you read more and more about your topic and once you start to expand your knowledge, you will have a sense of urgency to address as many aspects of possible. That becomes dangerous because it takes a considerable amount of time to focus on so many aspects and so many variables. So as you begin to narrow down your topic, 
or your health interest for your dissertation. Set a time frame for yourself. You can say, I plan on having my research area of interest focus by the time I take our research methods class during my last semester of course coursework. And actually in that course, you will have no choice but to narrow down your topic and to narrow down your health interest focus. But it gives you an idea or a sense of I have X amount of years or X amount of semesters to try to figure out what I actually want to do my health uh, research on. Also, you need to set boundaries as it relates to your research ideas. Keep in mind, your dissertation is a narrow focused research project. So your research ideas should be narrowly focused as well. Additional food for thought as it relates to picking a research topic. We all want to save the world. I think that is why we go into the health professions. I think that is why we go into a lot of fields that allow us to help and serve as advocates towards others. But you also want to graduate in a timely manner. And the more aspects you add to your research, the longer it will take for you to conduct the research and the longer it will take for you to graduate. So keep in mind, you need to look at items and aspects such as do I want to save the world or do I want to graduate? Do I want my research to cover every aspect that I think should be addressed or do I want it to be a great start in helping me to become an expert, which will allow me to extend my research focus once I graduate? Your dissertation will follow you for life, so make sure it is something you are proud of. A good dissertation is what you will use to graduate. An excellent dissertation or a great dissertation is what you will use to move forward in your career and will help establish your future. For instance, you want to continue to publish manuscripts and you want to continue to write grants based off the work that you started in your dissertation. You also want your dissertation to serve for a springboard for additional ideas. When writing the dissertation, please remain objective. Students have attachment issues to something that they have committed so much time to. Do not take comments, suggestions, and edits as personal attacks. As professors in this department, we are also required to remain objective. So anything we say should be taken in the context to help you develop a fundament fundamentally sound research agenda and to help you reach the end goal. If you do not do this now, you need to start saving everything. Save all papers, save all documents, save all news articles, save all, all manuscripts, save anything and everything from this point forward that is related to the health topic. And again, if your health topic is still general, that is fine because you can start to weed out or you can start to decrease the amount of information that you have related to your health interest. It's just much easier to start with a broad general body of work, an excessive body of work, and then shrink it down to something that is manageable instead of starting with a small general body of work and then having to add or having to increase. More importantly, have fun. Make the research process, make completing the dissertation a fun and enjoyable time for you. I know I thoroughly enjoy doing my dissertation. I still have contact with those that I've um, used or worked through to collect my data and whenever I see a documentary or a news story on the area or on the group or on the target population that I've worked with, I do feel all warm and fuzzy inside because I thoroughly enjoyed conducting research and I thoroughly enjoyed adding to the vast body of knowledge about HIV and AIDS. So make sure you have fun in the project. Make sure you have fun in the program. Make sure you have fun in the process. And then make sure you have fun as you reach your end goal.